Hi, I'm Brad. Uh, <laughs> I'm out here at my local park and I brought with me uh, my two uh, Ridgeline kits. This one lives in my trunk in my like uh, emergency bag uh, that I keep in my car. Uh, this is the one that I take with me all the time when I set up tarps and uh, when I go camping and, and such. Uh, so I have two different ridge lines that I want to show you. The reason I want to show you my ridge lines is because there seems to be in the zeitgeist right now a bunch of videos about ridge lines. Recently, uh, Dave Canterbury uh, of Self Reliance Outfitters, he <laughs> started looking around the internet and kind of compiling all of these videos. And now everybody's coming out with Ridgeline videos. It seems to be a, like a YouTube thing at the moment. They should just make a tag for it, like a hashtag show me your Ridgeline. Uh, and if somebody hasn't done that, I'm doing it. That's what's going to happen right now. Uh, so what I want to show you is uh, my Ridgelines. They're slightly different and they incorporate a bunch of the stuff that everyone else has seen. But here's the deal. If you have come across my video somewhere in your YouTube feed, you've already watched all those other Ridgeline videos. I'm pretty far down the algorithm. So welcome. You know, if you're here, welcome. Anyway, I'm going to show you my uh, Ridgeline and... Uh, um, show you how I got them set up. I got two trees right here. I got a little creek in the background. There's a high school on the other side of the creek way over there. So, you know, super scenic. Uh, but uh, let's get started. Uh, I'm going to start with the, uh, the one I carry in this kit. I have a little Dyneema uh, zipper pouch that I keep my stakes and my uh, guy lines and my ridge line in. And so uh, uh, let's get cooking. And then I'll show you the other one after that. All right, so my first one is this one. It's this orange line, and uh, uh, I'm going to set it up on the tree, uh, and I'll hook it up. It'll be very self-explanatory, and I'll show you kind of uh, the hardware and stuff I have, you know, hanging on the cord. Uh, and really, there's only one difference to, like, every other person's video. So let me get it on the tree, uh, set it up, I'll show you. So this wooden toggle or, or cleat, I guess it kind of is like a cleat you'd find on a, a boat to dock a boat, um, you know. Anyway, uh, as you can see, I'm having a hard time <laughs> showing the knot to the camera. Uh, but uh, here it is. You just go around it a couple of times, um, tighten it as you want, and uh, it's uh, secure. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you were uh, the Prusiks. I usually put four little Prusik loops on my uh, tarp, or excuse me, my uh, ridge line. Uh, each of them has these little plastic toggles. They're like uh, tactical toggles, I think is what they're called. I got them on Amazon. Um, and I put them there on some bank line uh, Prusik loops. And uh, I put four because two for the tarp and two for either lights or bug nets or something else I want to put them in. I also like that they slide up and down. So I still have the loop at the bottom if I want to put a carabiner in it uh, for some reason. Anyway, pretty handy. To get everything untied, you simply uh, undo the... Uh, 
undo the cleat and unwrap it from around one tree and then uh, run over to the other side and uh, <laughs> undo the toggle on the other tree and uh, you're set. There's nothing to it really. Very fast setup and uh, really is helpful in, in rainy situations. All right, so let's look at this other line. This blue paracord is uh, similar to the other line, the other ridge line. As I said, I keep it in my trunk. I have an emergency kit slash camping bag in my trunk. I'll probably do that in a future video. I'll show that. Um, anyway, pretty much the same setup, except uh, instead of uh, plastic, like black toggles, I have little wooden toggles that I made myself. Anyway, uh, here's how I set it up. Uh, similar process. All right, so I've got my ridge line, uh, the blue one that rides in my trunk set up behind me. Uh, I'm gonna set up a tarp real quick so you can kind of see uh, um, how the little toggles work in action. Uh, I have with me uh, my uh, Arcturix um, tarp poncho uh, that I uh, carry with me sometimes, uh, especially if it's gonna rain a lot. I've also got these pegs, which I'll talk about in a second, which are, uh, uh, ones that I carry around with me that I'm very proud of. Um, again, not original. I probably got the idea from somebody else, but uh, I'll talk about them in a second. Anyway, let me set up the tarp here in the background. almost forgot um, I got little uh, little shock cord things in the loops on the edge of the uh, um, brain poncho tarp poncho uh, and these come in really handy so uh, I'm just gonna point those out before I set this up okay here we go Also, I should point out, uh, <laughs> I didn't uh, prep this uh, before I started shooting this video, so uh, this is set up for poncho mode, and I have to, uh, I have to like undo all the little buttons before it's laid out for a tarp. Uh, that's a glimpse behind the filmmaking magic.
Okay, that was very fast, very hasty. I'll probably try to speed it up in the video. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this is action packed. Anyway, uh, let me show you around. This is if it was raining and I was really fast. This is not a great setup. Uh, in fact, I try to probably prop up the uh, hood part uh, so that it has more room under it if I were doing a lean to, um, which honestly, don't do lean to's that often. But, uh, you know, if it were raining and I need to get out of the rain, this is what I do. So let me show you the, uh, the setup, the pegs, and the toggles real quick. Uh, as you can see, I have wooden toggles here on the uh, pressing knots on this blue ridge line. Uh, I only have two, uh, and then the other pressics don't have uh, toggles on them. Toggles are the same, you can slide them up and down as you saw. Uh, anyway, if I set up a tarp, these hold the tarp. These are for, you know, putting a light on or bug net or something, attaching other stuff to. And hey, this is a, a look at the, uh, the tent stake or that peg that I was talking about. Uh, has a little black cap on the top so I can push down on it. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk about it here in a second. Uh, let me talk about these pegs real quick. So, it's just one of those uh, Y stakes. It's got the three sides. Anyway, what I've done is put a little uh, plastic stopper on the end right here. And uh, what this allows me to do is to press it in the ground with my hand without it making a stigmata happen in my the palm of my my hand so uh i can push my foot down on this or i can push my hand down on this i guess eventually these will wear through but uh i've been using this now for about two years and it has not worn through these stakes are really nice uh because they have the little notches on all three of the sides and uh so when i want to pull them out of the ground take another thing pull it out anyway these are really handy. Uh, I carry two of these, and these are like my anchor lines. The rest of my stakes don't have these in them, but there's uh, times when you want to, to handle the stakes really fast, but you don't want to like hurt your hand, you don't want to mess around, you don't want to cut yourself, especially out in the woods. So uh, uh, I carry these. Uh, very handy. Uh, I'll probably make more of them. Uh, the only hard part is getting the... Uh, the uh, line through the uh, little plastic part so you have to you have to make a hole and then get the thing through and it's uh, time consuming that's about it but if you do DIY stuff enough then you know about time consuming anyway uh, that's my ridge line uh, I'm gonna take it down now I'm gonna go home uh, I need a hot pocket or something anyway uh, I just want to be part of the zeitgeist I mean everybody's doing uh, ridge line stuff um, oh Hey, there's a. <laughs> I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put an addition here at the end of the video. When I get home, I'll show it to you in my backyard. But I uh, I used to put a different thing here on the on the first anchor point, uh, uh, where now I have a kind of a toggle through it uh, that has a hole in it that I can just come around and loop to. I used to just connect the toggle to the line, and I'll show you that on the orange line when I get back home. Uh, I still have the little uh, toggle that I used to attach to it. Uh, just so I would have it, but uh, I don't I don't use it anymore. Um, uh, it it's just a little more bulky, and it's already pretty bulky. Uh, everything you add to the ridge line when you put it away in your uh, kit, uh, the more prussic knots you add, the more toggles, the more cleats, the more stuff you add to the line, the, the more bulky it gets, and uh, um, it eventually starts to add up. I do believe uh, if you do ridge lines and especially uh what they call rapid deploy ridge lines and you watch enough youtube videos about them and there's a bunch of great ones uh out there already uh if you if you watch these i i recommend that you can put all kinds of fancy hardware and gimmicks and find different ways to to uh to do the ridge line without doing knots and stuff but i do believe it's important to learn how to do the actual knots at least like there might be a time when you have just some paracord and then you have to make it you don't have toggles attached you don't have prussics already attached you don't you haven't taken time to make little wooden cleats and all that kind of stuff um and if that's the case you should know how to to, to make a slippery uh slippery hitch i think it's called slippery hitch knot <laughs> Slip, slippery knot 
uh, trucker's hitch, uh, bowline knot, all those kind of like standard camp craft knots, you should know how to tie the knots. Then you can start messing around um, and adding all kinds of stuff to the to the line uh, to make your life easier. I, I have to admit, the, these little wooden toggles and those little plastic toggles on the orange line, uh, those have been so useful, like so useful. And they quicken everything up. Everything just goes so much faster. Anyway, uh, this is my rapid ridge line uh, video. Uh, what, do, what do people say? Like and subscribe. So this is how I used to have my uh, ridge line set up in the anchor side, the one that would go up to the uh, the first tree to, to anchor to the, the, the first tree. I used to connect this little wooden toggle that I made uh, to the very end of the ridge line. Um, the reason for this is that the toggle was always on the ridge line. It, I didn't have to search around on the ground for a piece of wood. Uh, I didn't have to uh, use a tent stake or a tent peg. Uh, I would just use this. So I'm just going to demonstrate this real quick. I might go back to this actually. I, I just changed it a couple of months ago because like everyone else I keep tinkering with it. Um, I'm trying to figure out which which way I like the best and which is the most conducive for a quick setup. Anyway, that's what I got. This, this video will probably age like expired milk, but I wanted to get it out while everybody seems to be doing these Ridgeline videos right now. Um, uh, a year from now, you'll look back and go, oh, there was a lot of Ridgeline videos uh, over the last couple of years. Um, but I, uh, I blame Dave Canterbury. Dave, <laughs> Dave did his video and he does what everybody does, even us small YouTubers. And he looked around YouTube and he kind of consolidated a bunch of stuff together to, to make like kind of his ultimate system for himself. But because he has a huge viewership, it kind of inspired so many people to do Ridgeline videos right now, recently. It's this weird like um, YouTube thing that happens and somebody does one thing and everybody kind of jumps on board. And now it's like a snake eating its own tail because <laughs> Dave Canterbury got the idea from a bunch of other YouTubers. Like, Dave's been pretty upfront that it, 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 it's passed on um, from people just spreading the knowledge. Um, but now, um, everybody's jumping on board, and I'm no different. I jumped on board, too. I made this video. I'm hoping you watch it. If you make it to this point at the end of the video, I mean, I mean bless your heart. Seriously. Because I haven't actually shown you anything that, that somebody else hasn't done in some other video. Um, that said, thanks for watching. You guys have a good day. I'll see you later down the road.